can't catch each other. Yeah, that Dagon turn around. Just made SE. Wait, is KP reaching him? He triggered Song with a Siren. He was getting regeneration from the Octarine. He realized he was in range of Samael putting the Blink Dagger on cooldown. So they wait for SC. Too early on the Forest Strike. The Light Strike array as well. Samael, where's your freedom? You all set the rub. They both spin it round, round, round. And then the escape. Samael keeps running and goes for the TP. Forest Strike from Kaka. Hero to gank Lina. in lane. It's a hero that becomes difficult to kill early on. And keep Naga Prepare Siren for on KP. We haven't seen this in a very, very long time. It's, it really is classic, and with that early PMS, you've actually got it on both Moogie as well as KP. There's like one good team fight, you can either sleep and then focus down the egg, or you can just use Lina's high attack speed in long range. They're gonna try and battle over this rune. KP's gonna take some decent damage for it, as uh, he does find the bounty rune. Newbie will claim three out of the four, and Ichi very wisely not fighting this one. Kaka wants to. He wants Zai just a little bit further, a little bit further forward, and there it is. With the Thunder Strike, they may have enough damage thanks to the Forest Strike on the run. Zai's in trouble. Quick power shot lets the damage go, and Kaka will spill the first spot. The question is, does he get out scot free? KP back again with the Riptide. He goes for another Forest Strike. Kaka, the last attack from Crip, will find the kill, but they want Arteezy. Cut through the tree lines. Continue the run, KP. Where's that Riptide? The damage, not enough. 18 HP. The regeneration from the Tango is barely enough to drown. Aura to upset the power. Oh, Universe. Is that slow going to be enough with the Barra Strike? They just profit. The T1 tower is not safety. And with the aggro switch, Kaka. No, 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 no. The trees. They're going to kill him. Kaka has to run 21 HP. The tower will hit him. And Kaka will fall. It's a consolation. He's just switched the aggro out. So KP gets forced out of the top lane. Meanwhile, in towards the mid, what do you want first? Courier, Faith will take care of that one, then look for the kill. If you can find it, Samel's been taking the tower, and SC, has he got himself one more hit? That's all it will take, the slave Samel, not just with a phase shift. Now support comes in, Boogie gives him a bear. Okay, maybe not fully. He needs to miss the sprites, and Kaka doesn't really want too much of this. He's got the tranquil boost and turns around, looking towards Zai. Observers and sentries are down, they actually get rid of the counter one, and Kaka with that Barra strike up. Finds the kill. Universe wants to help out for Kaka. Hiding himself inside the sandstorm. Faith can't move anywhere. Locked in by Bear. And maybe now SC hits the sun onto the Wind Ranger. Not a lot of support to be given. So SC just has to run away. Having the haste room means he can run pretty damn fast. Kaka's even able to regenerate, but now locked inside the sprout, cuts his way back out again, gets a nice bar of strike. The Savage Raw pushing SC away, but KP will arrive. Kaka will fall, so Universe has a double kill, but a double stun onto Arteezy, as well as Universe makes chasing SC very, very difficult. Wants to give more damage, but Samel will come in just to watch the kill happen. The neutrals are trying to kill off Universe as he's TPing away to safety. Well, just as level 5, Samel's already level 6. Having the early death. turned on, Faith's getting a bit of a tan, trying to glimpse away the Phoenix, it doesn't give him enough space. And the Savage Roar, no, no! Arteezy on 20 HP! Come back away from Kaka. Yeah, looks like trains are up if they were wanting to use that belt to that hot time. Well, Dream Coil, SC getting caught out, Zai looking for a good shackle lineup. Maybe not gonna be possible, hits the power shot instead, and here comes Boogie, the shackle. It doesn't properly latch, but still the last hit in. Zai giving its life for the cause. Not going to be able to make a huge play on the bottom lane. lane. Light Strike Array going to miss. The male able to face shift it out. But then again, the damage may be too much to repair. He's got a lot of life left. The quick orb. There's your face shift for the slave. From SC is able to connect and Samael will fall. Perfectly timed. He's going for Roshan. They're trying to contest this. As you said, EG do not have the team fight just yet, but the train goes in. So there's your first little bit of a scout. We hit daytime, so high vision. Mookie gets hit by the power shot as well. He does have that Morbid Master. He's got a little bit of sustain, but Kaka goes for the Barra Strike. The male dodges the slave. He needs to get out of this one, however. Mookie has to stick around. Of course, he has no choice. Shackled up. Can he run away? The Enrage giving him the extra life to take the sun. No, he doesn't. Instead, it's Kaka going back in again with the Laguna Blade. SC finds the first pick off, and it's going to be dangerous prop. But the newbie, they're low. The double shackle will connect, but they can't get closer, EG. They want to. Right now, they're playing ward battles. And they're going to lose that ward battle, but Roshan isn't taken. If possible. More importantly, they want to take the T1 tower. Allows them to control so much more of this map. But Arteezy, he's the bonus, and it will be. The wall is up. 
run in. The Glimpse can not pull him back into the wall, but into the waiting arms of Moogie. No more move for speed. Does he have a roll? The storm, the damage is enough. Enraged up Moogie. One pause why can't reach him. Can't get close enough. And now Moogie's in too deep. He'll die. The Aegis Immortal, however, does give him the second life. Universe wants to control him. The Sprout trying to keep everyone else away. The Shackle will connect and in comes Samel. High movement Samel gets the silence. They could have sung the Siren. KP's lost. Moogie's lost. SC will join them in the afterlife in just a second. But how many can he bring with him? Bury him with all of his worldly goods. Samal will put him down. Can't move out to lanes. Wants to keep himself hidden because if he shows himself, EG understand that Nubian committed to Roshan. Of course, this is another way to do it. Have Samel sit in an invis room right on top of Nubi and isolate the two supports. KP's coming as well for the forest strike. It's already started off. Wind Ranger Zai will fall, but the Dream Core catching two into the egg. They're going to burn. Crit is able to do it inside the Nova tick damage, and they find another one sanking a little bit further to the north. Forest strikes out inside the sandstorm, but the Sentry Wall is still out. A small little bit of revenge. It's Kaka and Universe, the ones to fall. But they have their own aggressive Observer Ward. And that aggressive Observer Ward, it actually sees Universe farming. Okay, maybe not exactly the position of Universe, not up that hill. But Zoran farming, so Samal are trying to punish this aggressive maneuver from Nubi. They've caught SC out of position. The Storm, however, is stopping Phoenix from getting the egg off. And the epicenter, Kaka, jumps in. The Phoenix will fall. SC is still just solo battling on the back lines. He wants to live, but Samal finally will get the rift off. And bring down the leaner. Quick sprout. Moogie trapped in there. That one little space open for the bear and only the bear. The power shot connects and Song of the Siren. Aegis the Immortal will trigger, but Disruptor, what do you even do? You don't have an ultimate to help out. They have to trigger off the shrine and hope EG try and fight them as they're actually regenerating up. Burrow strike in. Logan Drew is in too far. Zai can't do anything. He's trapped inside the wall as well. Samael trying to help out the power. Actually, the power shot's done enough damage. Lena has the one charges. Will end up surviving. Samael, the light striker, right? He dodges with a face shift jumping down they need another bar strike he'll come in but it's too late SC's already fallen Universe will join the line of the dead Boogie wants another kill four seconds till blink is four seconds too long as Samael falling tactics work oh Kaka press the epicenter oh wait hang on that doesn't look right it was a little too early it still will be enough damage as the style four staff will kill off the nature's prophet Yep, second cancel out of the center. That one, player error. But... Samael gets a dream call over an SC, and they're gonna couple it all together. The storm could be thrown down, but it just reveals his position. Disrupted the TP out. There's no stun. Hill, there was no vision. So they have to wrap around the back. Agassi Mola just timed out. And Samael into the tree line, starts his own TP. Do they get any level of vision? SC hits the light strike array on the crit. Icarus Dive is still available. A quick Yule Scepter up, mistiming it. Carter went for the Burrow Strike, so Faith must commit to the storm in order to bring down Crit, who is dead for 50 seconds with no buyback. But they're doing bad things, pushing in the top lane, and they're forced to retreat. Burrow Strike and do as much damage as you can. Keep that bear in position. SC arriving. A quick and snare. And this bear does not stand a chance. He will go down. Even more and more critical things like Arteezy, the fact he does lose this, resummons. Just go full defense as well. KP's getting money off the rest of the map. Burrow Strike. Down the bottom lane. Catching him in for this, but it goes to the Gem of Truth back. That's why Universe can't run. 70 seconds without a buyback. Comes again. Moogie to the front lines. And a target that EG do not want to have. They're looking for the back lines. Oh, that Yule Scepter! It caught the punch! He doesn't actually have patience! Caught inside it! He'll actually bring down some mail! 90 seconds without him! And this is the opening that Newbie wanted! Push back in again! Oh, the bear came back to life! But will it be enough? The BKB from Moogie, KP, Song of the Siren. Universe is protected by his own BKB. They'll force staff him away. They want to go for more. Crit being pushed forward, but he won't be able to reach anyone from Nubi. Faith is the closest. Starts his TP, but they won't know with the Savage Roar. You would have had to blindly do it up the hill to Kent. Universe. He ran into Kaka. Oh, Kaka! He missed the Burrow Strike! The Orchid is on him! He'll move around the tree lines. A quick Yule Scepter up. At least the spells of the damage that will come out from the Orchid. Kaka needs to keep moving out of that Sunray damage area. He does get free, and it's Universe under the cover of the BKB. Doesn't connect it from the physical damage, and SC already has the attack speed. They want to kill off the egg, and they've got it. SC is the double kill. He will die, however. Samael's Dagon brought him down for just shy of a thousand gold going into the puck. It's not like 420 is already giving him enough. Be a very good jump for him if he had a Bizzle, but without it, it's just not here. 
There's your jump. Goes in. You won't need the guarantee. Zai just gets shredded. Karkar in a little bit too deep. Must need the sentry ward. Savage Roll won't free him out. Boogie has the protection of his own BKB. Now that it wears off, maybe a little bit more cautious. Still, the five extra MG didn't have to be committed. Look at these yellow dots swarming oh, the map. Oh, I don't know if that was fully intentional. They burned the fortification on its only illusions on the front line. Attacking in, the tier three towns a little bit low. But now SC is free to attack into that melee racks in the mid. Everyone's hovering around. Zai Shaq's shot is not alive, mainly because he is not. Dyer's middle barracks are illusions. Just everywhere in their home. Oh, Barra Strike, oh. it connected on the Phoenix, but it's more importantly creating space for SC. He's holding onto cheese of his own. They bring down the mid racks. You are hoping Roshan is there, but they've got another 24 seconds before Roshan should be spawning up. And EG, they find their target with the Barra Strike in and out. Kaka. A quick retreat, the egg is being committed, but no one from Newbie is forced to fight. As he's back under the cover of his own tower, attacking into the Lone Druid's bear. KP wants to fight. Oh, he put the arms up. He's baiting Song of the Siren. He did it twice, then pulled out. And now it's Crit. Caught out. Laguna played the damage. One charge is allowing Crit just alive to survive. But on the back lines, it's all about the Urza as well as combination with Faith. They're brought down two. They're going to get another one. And that may have been the last roll. The dice here for EG. Samael's on the run. A quick join away, but SC's movement speed. The slave won't reach him, but he's keeping the fiery stall stacks up. The day gone. SC is low. The male's got the speed. Speedy Gonzalez versus Sonic at the moment, and both can't catch each other. Man, Dagon, turn around. Just made SE. Wait, is KP reaching him? He triggered Song of the Siren. He was getting regeneration from the Octarine. He realized he was in range of Samael putting the Blink Dagger on cooldown. So they wait for SC. Too early on the Forest Strike. The Light Strike Array as well. Samael, where's your freedom? You all set the rub. They both spin it round, round, round. And then the escape. Samael keeps running and goes for the TP. Forest Strike from Kaka. Barely misses on the side. Samael will return home to tell of his tale. Strike and Smash to keep him in the game, but Rax under siege. EG just have no strong heroes aside from Samael. No one they're, can really do anything. They're though. locking him down. Universe wants to fight. He's looking for Moogie. Triggers off the PKB for both of them. Zion the focus fire. It may be enough when the bash from the bear is able to hit. They root up the Ursa. But then again, Lone Druid also instead controlled the Burrow Strike from Kaka. Catching two. Lone Druid. Arteezy. He's falling. He's fallen. He's down. Samael wants back in again. Another Yule Scepter. They're trying to lay it with NC. Samael has to also avoid. Everyone's just spinning it up in the clouds. More buybacks. Boogie's got himself a double kill. They have to keep the pressure on, however. Newbie, push into the base. Punish these buybacks if it's possible. They are fighting. Four on four, the Burrow Strike hits perfectly, catching Zai in the tree lines. They don't see him yet, now they do. Boogie has his triple kill, the Orchid, the silence is there for KP. Does he actually pop though? No, Ursa will survive this, no he doesn't. The Phoenix Egg, it burn him down. KP will TP away to safety. Meanwhile, Kaka, well, he'll go into the tree, stay where it's safe, and he doesn't get disabled in time. Samael needed vision to get the Yule set for off, but Newbie the pick. There is no Ursa at this fight, however. The final roll of the dice, what do they find? Kaka finds himself a bar strike, quick blink away, does get silenced. Samael wants to get the initiation off. That silence on Sankin lasts a long time, but they still haven't found the damage, EG. For all the control they want to provide, they haven't found the opportunity, and Samael gets out of the wall in time. Faith might be in trouble, Universe trying to beat him down, but on the back lines again, it's going to be your Ursa doing the work. You've lost two already for EG, both without buyback. They turn their attention towards the bear where Savage roars them out, but it's SC, the cannon on the back line, just incapable of being touched by EG. Lone Druid can be stunned up. SC commits up a Laguna Blade, and in comes Kaka, the epicenter. It was the last couple of pulses, but the last is enough. EG will call GG and level the series up 1-1. Newbie shall do with that fight. A big mistake by EG not being able to control the Roshan pin at all. It just kept getting worse and worse for them. They got vision of the Ursa doing the Roach, but there was no way for them to stop. I think the Phoenix was a little bit too...